Hello, hello, namaste, namaste, and welcome to Spotlight on Connected to India. I'm Daisy Rani Subaya, and my guest today is someone whose path did not cross mine, unfortunately, when I was active in the theatre scene in Bombay. She has the most beautiful smile in Bollywood, and this very, very special lady just captured the hearts of the entire country with her wonderful television program, Surabhi. And then she did this unforgettable role in one of the highest crossing Bollywood films, Hama Ki Hai Kaun. And then she sang and she <laughs> smiled and she said, Mere Devar ki <laughs> and we loved her for it. But this year, most importantly, she had her own Hindi film, which she directed. It was a woman-centric film, very interesting, very honest. And we're going to ask her lots of questions about it. So welcome, welcome, Renu. Kasahani. It's such a delight to have you on our show. Can you Thank give us you one so of those much. beautiful Thank smiles? Thank you. <laughs> there, there you stop me. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. My God, you look the same. All these years. And My God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, to start with, I mean, being the daughter of such an eminent writer, Shanta Gokhale, did you think yeah. it was kind of predetermined that you will go into this creative field of acting and directing? Um, actually, it happened just by chance, and it was a very strange string of uh, incidences that led to me becoming a theatre actor first, and then you know, kind of exploring myself as an actor in front of the camera in television, and then followed by film. So um, I was very academically inclined. I was uh, extremely good as a student, and I was quite happy doing my psychology majors in Saint Xavier's College. And uh, it was during that time that uh, I-, I was part of a play called um, Hindi play called Andher Nagri Chopat Raja. Oh, and yeah. that <laughs> play had 14 songs. It was a musical. Hmm. And since I was connected with the Sangeet Mandal in college, <laughs> uh, I, along with a friend of mine, just went there because they wanted vocalists. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, like it happens in college, you're there through the process. It's not mm-hmm. as if you're just called for some time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I saw the whole process of how it began uh, with just the readings and then the script in the hand and the, you know, kind of blocking and then how they became characters mm-hmm. uh, right in front of my eyes. And that fascinated me. And of course, my mom had introduced me to uh, the performing arts, uh, whether theater, dance, music, uh, you know. So uh, that grounding was definitely there, mm. but uh, there was no inclination as such. But after this, the next time Satyadev Dubey, who was a family friend, mm. he came over and he said to me, you know, he used to always ask me, Renuka, actress banna hai? Mm. And I used to say, nay, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> and then this time round, he said, Renuka, actress banna hai? And I said, yeah, I yes. want to. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So but that's how you... my journey started. And about how how did you how was your role in uh, the play in Andheri Nagari? Did it do well? No, it never happened. It oh, never yeah, took never place. Happened. Actually, it got scrapped. Uh, but uh, you know, the first play that I did with Dubeji's group was a play called uh, Bombay Ke Kauwe. And uh-huh. of all the things to debut as, I debuted as a crow. Ah, uh, that, that's Kauwe in the Mumbai Ke Kauwe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's 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 a very good luck, huh? Uh, being a crow. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but you know, Renuka, that's maybe that's another thing that we share in common because I was in Xavier's as well. I mean, ah! was senior, but how yes. delightful. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I know what you're talking about when you say, you know, the theater auditions. and this yeah. So now let me take you down a bit memory lane. In 1989, you did this show with Shah Rukh Khan. Television right, series, yeah. uh, circus, circus, right? Circus. And you were his, yeah, yeah. you know, his lead is his love interest and all that. Yeah, but yeah. Not me, his. I, I mean, I loved him, but it was unrequited. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is so, but but at that time, I mean, you know, years back, did you when you were working with him, did you ever feel, did it sort of an inkling that this man was going to become such a superstar? You know, to tell you frankly, at the time he was doing theater, I mean, um, uh, circus, he was not interested in film. Uh, he was already quite a star in uh, television because of Fawji. <laughs> and mm. in fact, I remember when we were shooting for Circus in Ratnagiri, uh, mm. there was a crowd of at least 20,000 people just to watch him. He was very, yeah, he was very charismatic on screen. People loved him even then. But yeah. he, he 
was not interested in film and uh, uh, I, we always felt all of us including our directors Aziz uncle and Kundan Shah and uh, Saeed Mirza we used to always feel that this guy is going to make it if he kind of decides to you know uh, step into Bollywood and that's what happened when he changed his mind and he went uh, and started doing films uh, his, he, he was magical on screen and people just loved him isn't that fantastic? We yeah. didn't, didn't know, notice about him that he didn't want to act in films. No. Nobody would believe that, you know. Right. He was very comfortable doing television. He he has a theatre background from Delhi. So, I mean, uh, his attitude was not uh, related to, you know, wanting a glamour or larger than life image or nothing like that. He just wanted mm-hmm. to do uh, television and do a good job of it. <laughs> Wonderful. And you all did a great job of it. I mean, even you moved on. Now to direction. That's something yeah. so interesting that I'd like to know because your directorial debut was uh, Rita. That's uh, right. it, yeah. was based, it was a Marathi film which was based right. on your mother's book, Rita Velinka. Now, right. the important question is, how did you feel moving from acting to directing? And why? Why this urge to direct? Well, frankly, as I said, acting happened to me. In 1988, I did a serial called uh, Lifeline, Jeevan Rekha for Doordarshan. Mm, mm, mm. It was uh, directed by Dr. Vijay Mehta. And uh, mm. I was assisting her as her fourth assistant director. And mm. I was in charge of the costumes of the entire serial. And uh, and uh, she just, by the way, said that since you're going to be on the set, why don't you even act, uh, you know, as one of the doctors in, mm-hmm. in the serial? I said, yeah, why not? You know, and life was just uh, full of, uh, uh, you know, hope and uh, learning, and it was nothing. Nothing was planned. Mm-hmm. So um, on the sets, I was much more inclined towards, uh, you know, kind of uh, soaking in uh, things that were related to direction because I was an assistant director, and, and, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, and it opened out yeah the world. And she's she's like an institution. I mean, I've never been formally trained in either acting or directing or writing or whatever, but mm. she's like a complete institute, uh, a film institute. And so that kind of, uh, you know, foundation was very, very important for me. I still carry that, uh, you know, learning with me. Mm. And uh, it was at that time that I decided that I do want to uh, become a director. Mm. But basically, I was also studying. I was doing my MA at that time in clinical mm. psychology. Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah. And after the, that, I took a break because I said, you know, I've continuously kind of done this and I want to do my PhD. So let me just think about the subject, the guide, everything. Mm-hmm. And I took a year off. Mm-hmm. And during that time, I got circus. Mm-hmm. And after circus, Aziz uncle insisted that he said, PhD, wagra, chhod do. Wo khayal chhod do. you're mm-hmm. a very good actor. Why mm-hmm. don't you just uh, consider yourself a professional actress and go for it? Mm. So when I came back from circus, the next thing that was offered was Surabhi. Mm. I auditioned for it. I mm. got through, mm. I fumbled through the audition and yet got through. <laughs> yeah, that was your smile, you know, Renuka. You must yeah. have won their hearts, you know. <laughs> yeah. So and Siddharth's then- wife, Geeta, said that, no, no, this girl has a great attitude because she's smiling through her fumbles. <laughs> so that's the reason why I got selected. <laughs> and uh, so direction then took a back seat because then, you know, acting just acting. happened and Surabhi got so popular that I didn't have to, you know, kind of struggle even. I mean, all the roles that I got afterwards mm. were because of either Circus or Surabhi and uh, mm. it was like a calling card, you know. And mm. then I got Hum Aap Ke so, Yes. <laughs> oh, that was just wonderful. Yes, so that's it. So all this fantastic journey through acting, I mean, incidentally, I watched Vijaya Bai's Nagamandal perform yeah. in Singapore, you know. I directed right. Nagamandal here in Singapore wow. and, and all those. So yeah, you were with the best. You were with <laughs> That's right. masterclass. You were with masterclass. <laughs> but having said that, when you're on this journey to act and you're acting and you're doing so well, and then you steer course and yeah. go direction. Yeah. And, and that's what, what's it's this? That, Daisy, you'd be surprised to know that while I was shooting Hum Aapke Hai Kaun, I told Surajji that, you know, this is my last acting assignment. <laughs> After this, I'm going to go to FTII and learn direction because that's where my passion lies. Oh. And Surajji turned down and said, are you crazy? I mean, you can learn on the job. There right. is no institute that can teach you either acting or direction. So, right. you know, actually, if you're good at it and if you have a point of view and if you have something really, something... Uh, you know, yeah, that you want to say, you want to tell this story, then you should go for it and learn on the job. He said, keep your eyes and ears open. 
mm. uh, while you are acting talk to mm. the technicians on the set always mm. and learn from them and mm. uh, please don't uh, you know kind of after this uh, he said don't look back and don't stop acting so i took his advice again <laughs> mm-hmm. and i continued acting mm-hmm. and uh, on the job i did learn a lot from uh, many directors that i worked with and uh, a lot of what not to do also from some directors who i'd rather not name <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's all no, part of really, learning yes because if you're only going to learn the good you won't have yeah. any balance with that right. ye mat karo yes ye, oh ye kabhi mat karna na ko na ko na ko Correct, correct. Right. But, well, but you... so, uh, so ba- basically to come back to your question, Daisy, uh-huh. uh, I took a sabbatical from acting after my marriage, which was in 2001. Uh-huh. And uh, immediately after a year, I, uh, you know, I had uh, my uh-huh. first born and then my second born after a gap of two years. So uh-huh. I was completely immersed in family life, happily enjoying myself. to tell you frankly my ambition ever since i was a child was that i wanted to become a mother and wanted to have babies lots of them <laughs> but then you stopped it too i stopped it too because my age my biological clock was ticking by then you know yeah. and i had my second <laughs> when i was 38 so that's already quite late yeah, but yeah. Uh, and then of course the fact that you know you it's like a blow on your face when you motherhood is so challenging <laughs> it's not a, a bed of roses at all so yes. you know the kind of time and the kind of uh, emotion and the worry that you invest <laughs> in each and every day that you live after your children are born so yes. i think that took over and i i by then had forgotten acting forgotten direction forgotten everything else i was a full time mom and enjoying it quite a lot Mm. but my husband kind of said that you are at home and uh, you know you've always had this passion for direction so at least start scripting mm. you have the time because you can do that at home mm. and uh, i said okay that's a great idea and i really appreciated the way he kind of gave me a direction uh, mm. to uh, my uh, time at home you know uh, mm. so um i decided to work on my mother's novel because that had stayed with me I said this is very, very. You know, there are some novels you can't make into a film or a series. Yes. There are others uh, that lend themselves to, you know, this adaptation. So mm. I decided to do that because then, you know, my mom would be kind and would give me permission in any case. <laughs> and uh, once I finished that screenplay and I read it out to her, she really liked what I had done with her novel. Wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, that's when I started pitching it, and Rita mm. came about, and it was released in two thousand and nine. Hmm. and after that i thought that abhi regular intervals mein main to direct karungi hi karungi hmm. and of course life has other plans and so it took me a very long time to come again yeah. back to direct yeah and and that, that's what we're talking about you know when you're saying i had a vision i, I you know like how you got the advice you yeah, you know what you want you have a vision to go for it and that's what we saw in your tribham you know you could very clearly see a woman's vision behind it so tell us how did that come about uh, so where tribhanga was concerned um, you know the core idea of this mother daughter relation relationship which is very acrimonious uh, came from a chance comment of an acquaintance of mine i had mm. met her in uh, 90s when i was shooting for surabhi and mm. she was recently married and i kind of said oh you must be missing home and she mm. said not at all i'm so glad to be away from my mother i used to hate her and i was really mm-hmm. shocked by that because my relationship with my mother is so cool and so beautiful mm. uh, so i found it very difficult because i hadn't really met people who spoke so openly about it maybe they had bad relationships but it was never spoken about because it's considered you know this mother is supposed to be this you know yes. revered figure Especially in our culture yeah in our culture yeah. and uh, so that kind of common stayed with me and i uh, wanted to as i said because i don't have any formal training there was this announcement um, of the sundance mumbai mantra workshop mm. um and um, in 2013 and i said why not you know why not get mentored uh, on a screenplay mm. because i really don't know what it is all about because i had mm. adapted mom's uh, novel correct not an not an original, original screenplay correct. yeah it's something totally different absolutely so i had written a 10 pager with this mm. core concept of this mother daughter relationship not really working Mm. and using my psychological background i had you know kind of placed the three women in id ego super ego that kind of division mm. uh, the three of them 
and mm. also this cause and effect sort of thing i was you know the choices of one um, you know cascading onto uh, the other the effects of that on the third ge- generation so mm. it was a sort of 10 pager with uh, two or three scenes and the characterizations that i had taken uh, submitted for mm. that uh, workshop and i got selected Well done. So yeah. in that workshop, I was uh, mentored by the likes of Bill Wheeler, Malia Scotch Marmo, Asif Kapadia, Anjum Raja Bali, Marty Knoxon, Joshua Marston. So it was a very, very um, you know intense, immersive workshop where I really got to know what to do, what not to do. Again, you know the classic uh, structure of screenplays mm. to what would suit my screenplay the most. you know mm-hmm. so it was like uh, this uh, fascinating uh, workshop that i mm-hmm. uh, had a chance to be part of and mm-hmm. uh, when i came back then i took my own sweet time because i'm quite like a tortoise when it comes to writing so mm-hmm. it took about 3 4 years for it to actually reach the stage where i felt it was like you know now a script yeah yeah and i took it to um, the co production market nfdc co production market in goa Uh, mm. where i was pitching it to uh, uh, production houses from all over the world um mm. just in case they felt interested in a co-production but mm. it's very rooted to india i realized from that experience that why would a foreign production want a co-production with me on tribhanga it's mm. such a indian film you know Correct. Correct. so then i started this pitching this sentiment it. of mother yeah. mother yeah is strong yeah. and you. also the lives and the choices that they make are so very indian you know i mean they uh, uh, though they have a very modern outlook you know but mm. the, the their core i think is very very indian so mm. um, finally in 2018 siddharth uh, malhotra met me mm. casually i mean i've known him since he was a kid and mm. uh, he just said that you know i'm starting my production company and if you have any script why don't you narrate it to me and i said i do i do and i yeah. narrate it to bang <laughs> and he just loved the script and mm. it was he who said to me that this anu has to be played by kajol and mm. i'll put you through and i'll uh, get you in touch with her and mm. you narrated to her and i narrated it to kajol and she also loved the script and the role and mm. she was on board and then once she was on board then everything else kind Just of tarwa banta gaya <laughs> yeah you got this is so wonderful to hear but you know now that you mentioned kajol i mean of course you yeah. know she was she was so charming her you know her charming delightful self and you know spunky and and i saw how you were doing you know the different very clear characterizations because she was sometimes you know honest yeah. uh, to the yeah. point of being rude yeah and, totally yeah and and yet yeah. you kind of you know so you could feel but tell us something about your process about yeah. the characterization when you work with her uh you know uh, she is a very instinctive uh, actor mm. uh, she doesn't really uh, work on her characterization as such in terms of you know kind of an underlining things and mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the thought process is on because she is an avid reader mm. a voracious reader Mm. so um you know she knows uh, stories she mm. knows characters she mm. and her experience of 30 years i mean more than yeah that so yeah. uh you know she's a very fine judge of uh, characters and roles mm. so i think um the best thing that she did was that uh, the graphs that she has maintained that there is that one face that she has for the public which is like very brusque and rude mm-hmm. and which gets angry at the slightest yes when it yeah. comes to certain relationships she is very calm and she can speak her mind without having to be uh, brusque you know which is her relationship with robindro for instance the conversations yeah. she has with him are mm. very very different from what uh, you know or mm. the kind of fiercely protective mother she is vis-a-vis masha is something that kajol is in real life vis-a-vis her children Mm. so you know she just had to transfer that emotion on to uh, uh, masha and mm. uh, she has seen uh, because not only her own stardom but her mother stardom her aunt stardom her grandmother stardom yes yes so she comes yes from right. a line of uh, yes. superstars yes. Super. you know so that yes. uh, a person like that uh, it's very easy for them to know exactly uh, where to place people's opinions Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's something which is very difficult to act luckily for me because she has experienced all of this in her real life she is that 
she doesn't uh, have to act it. Act it, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So uh, th- that's a huge advantage that I got. So, so mm. casting is half the battle won, and I you know mean, where uh, my casting was. I think I got uh, uh, the best, an amazing ensemble cast uh, yes. for, for the film. So yes. my my process would definitely be on the set. Like mm. if there is a radical kind of uh, change in the manner of uh, uh, you know kind of acting a particular scene. Mm. Um, that's the only time that i would you know kind of interfere with the process because pretty much uh, out of the narration that i gave all my actors mm. i think they they had understood completely what i what? was looking for the sounds of the various characters were very very clear in their heads mm. so that extra work i didn't have to uh, do with them on the set except mm. uh, you know one or uh, once or twice maybe if things were not working in a particular way then we tried out mm. things and mm. as a director i'm also open because i i'm an actor as well and i would like that from directors myself yes. Yes. to uh, allow the magic to happen which comes from the actors side to leave them free so that they can come up with their own version of your lines which mm. sound very interesting you know it's not something that you can think of earlier mm-hmm. and uh, so i allowed that also to happen and uh, that sounds no that sounds like a a very giving way of directing that yeah. means the actors can grow can nurture yeah. into their own yeah. to their own characters but you know i'll tell you something renuka because i really respect kajol as an actress i mean yeah. we've seen her over the years and like you yeah. said but you know it was a bit disconcerting Yeah when you watch this very charming yes those expletives i think when i was talking to ladies here in singapore yeah. i think you know the the memory of a uh, um you know Dilbali, Dilbali. 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 And, and, and it's branding and we know that yeah. every actress wants to break yeah. it but yeah. did it have to be that strong you know no, i think better. most people are uh, very um, uh, upset by the hindi galis If you use the F word or if you're English, I don't think they would have a problem with it at all. And uh, you know that is one of the things, and that's why I consider her very brave because it's very difficult for an actor to you know no, go against the. A, yeah, but as a director. Yeah. Was so that as a director that you wanted to put into the character? Absolutely, because it's it's a written. You know, people say that OTT platform ke liye you just put in galis. It's not like that. I've mm-hmm. written it in 2013 when OTT hadn't come to India. Well done, yes. You know, yes, 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 <laughs> but yes, the yes. thing is that uh, it was actually based on my own experience of two of my uh, very dear friends. Uh, mm-hmm. Their mothers. I met them when my children were in school, and we always become a group of mothers. You know, after a period of time. Mm-hmm. So uh, and they use expletives left, right, and center for everything. Like I mean, whether it's good coffee, <laughs> whether it's bad uh, school administration. So for the whole range of things, it's mm-hmm. they, they use expletives like literally like words, like exclamations, like punctuations. You know, it's like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, like various people who are shocked at the first time when Kajol, you know, kind of does the what? expletive. That's it. That's it. Yeah. it was like that for me that experience because i said oh my god and they have kids and i don't know what they'll be teaching their kids yeah, yeah. and i thought that that was so judgmental of me because i mean they are the most wonderful women and they are such fiercely protective moms they are so intelligent they are so beautiful talented and i didn't see any of that i just saw their abuses and i made my judgment about okay. them i Sorry. thought that was terrible of a person like me who is a feminist who mm. doesn't believe in judging women and yet the insidious quality of this you know kind mm. of things passed down from generations which don't yeah. allow women to be the way they are without being judged mm. is what had happened even to me so that's the reason why i wanted to kind of bring that in because mm. in kajol's in anu's case especially uh, the rebellion starts at an early age early. and it never stops it became, becomes her nature so it's mm. almost uh, like a teenager the way she talks you mm. know and mm. especially with people who are uh, not really close to her who she doesn't feel are close to her like she never abuses masha she doesn't abuse uh, raghav she doesn't yeah. abuse robindro uh, mm. she doesn't uh, actually abuse even the doctor nurses or the journalists though they are being very intrusive 
Mm. But she she abuses when she is in her car, road rage. Yeah, mm. definitely. Mm. Or if Milan comes in her way because mm. she it's you know kind of associates same. Milan with her mother, mm. and that relationship is a very very uh, you know bad in a very bad space. Mm. So I I think that's the reason why I chose uh, you know all these things. Uh, but you know this uh, renuka what you said just now about being judgmental about you know just uh, seeing the top surface of a person yeah, yeah. not want to give the person a chance the moment right. you know one of your preconceived yeah. ideas is broken no that's very beautiful I, i i appreciate that what you're saying because it makes you realize that you know to be a director how much depth you have to go into yeah. <laughs> so now you see it in a different yeah. way not just the ye gali mara wo gali mara right. don't don't, don't right. do that yeah. but you know okay so now uh, tell us because tribang has given you a lot of credit credibility yeah. you know, it's been so wonderful so what right. will now be next on the cards uh, i'm writing a black comedy actually <laughs> comedy well done i love comedy <laughs> black is even better Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so I'm working on that, but yeah, but uh, but as it. you know, yeah, I'm writing it right now. So whenever I feel it comes till that point where I can pitch it, I'll pitch it. I think um, I'm just working on something and another the web series also. So writing is in a uh, process right now. Oh, your mother was be must be so proud. Yeah, your mother must be so proud. Yeah, and even Actually, though you is. stopped being a psychologist, you know this is yeah, yeah. She, my daughter, you know, like a chip of the old block. Okay. <laughs> Now this just before we we and and all the best for this comedy. Thank we you. Forward to it, but Thank before you. we leave, there's one thing I really want to ask you is because I know the film that you made was about choices, women's yes. choices, yes. and that's why this question I'm going to ask you is about choice. Yeah. It so right. you've got two films that have been offered to you, and it's at the same time, and you have to make a choice. And one is this fabulous role as an actress, and mm. one is a fabulous script as a director. Mm. Now, which film are you going to choose? Are you going to choose acting or directing, and why? Directing. <laughs> ah, because <laughs> you, whatever you said and done, <laughs> you're not acting. uh your in a way uh you know there is less amount of responsibility mm-hmm. you are responsible for your own work and mm-hmm. you do it and sometimes like you go home okay. but a director is like a mother you know yes yes, yes. no and 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 the control renuka yes absolutely you know, because you know I you agree. swim and sink yeah. everything is on your head oh that would right. be a fantastic choice that is is a perfect <laughs> choice and we'd love to see that and and I so is there's just one one thing i really want to know because when i when i hear you talking about women's issues and women's is there any women's issue which is particularly close to your heart uh i just feel the education of women i still feel that we are not uh, you know kind of uh, the atmosphere is not very conducive to uh, especially rural uh, girls being mm. empowered and educated and i think education is a huge uh, you know um uh, sort of um, it's uh, it's really important for getting you out of the same sort of vicious circle that yeah. a lot of uh, rural girls mm. are yeah. you know especially um, the women still, and it can help you in financial independence which i think is the key for a lot of empowerment to happen so i think that is very close to my heart but i must tell you that you know like i mean this issue of uh, sex determination that i have uh, you know and, yes, of, yes, uh, yes. explored in uh, mm-hmm. my film and the fact that uh, in 21st century india even today even people from very very educated families who have a lot of wealth still don't have the wealth of their minds to you know kind of not make a difference between a girl and a boy child is just beyond me really daisy what do we do to change this mindset and 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 we felt that you know when we watched yeah. it one of your questions was what and especially yeah. when you see a young person Right. who might be even willing to look at that yeah. choice yeah it's even, you know it gets us and you're like and so it was very refreshing to hear at the end that no it's not something she would do yeah. but for the sake of the family you're willing to at least keep quiet at that moment yeah so it, yeah so it's a slow like sophie's choice you know very yeah. often very of no and and that's what the film is about yeah. and so that's why you know i'm i'm so glad you made the choice of being a director Thank being you. the leader <laughs> 
telling us your vision. We shall look forward to that. And, you know, hopefully one day you'll come here to Singapore where we will get a chance to have coffee. Chai yes, I'd love together. to. <laughs> yes, please do. And when you do, don't forget us from Connected to India. No, I won't. With us. Okay. <laughs> and it, it, it was a real pleasure. A real Thank pleasure. you. Thank and you, Daisy. That was such fun. The conversation would have gone on and on and on. And I would have loved that. So, I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to pick up this conversation again with Renuka when she comes up with her new film, the new black comedy that she's writing. In the meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed the interview. And if you did, please press that like button and subscribe to Connected to India, the YouTube channel. Okay, see you soon. Namaste, namaste, namaste.